one facing down, one shoulder up, one shoulder back. And allow the movement to transfer through the spine, through the body, and an ease will move a little from left to right, the waist. And then that narrowing of the waist might start to actually take you more over onto that side. And we keep the head on the ground so the neck is relaxed. We really let the forehead and the temple have a massaging effect against the floor. You might even start to feel that you could reach up a little bit the chest and the head. Roll back down to the other side and the hands will lift you up again. And you're very much kind of ready to pounce, ready to go in this position. I've got my back toe tucked, ball of the foot on the floor. My core strength is alive, my eyes are open. So there's a lovely mix of lightness and groundedness. We know where the earth is, but we have a buoyancy in our body. We've been rolling from side to side. Hand can touch the floor, both knees bent, back toe can be tucked under and you're ready to pounce. The elbow drops, roll to the other side, find your hands, chest broad and open, ready to pounce. Roll and lift. And then, because you've got these bent knees happening, you can actually just lift straight up to Varanta Jasana, where both knees are bent. The sole of this foot is placed nicely against the top of the thigh of the other leg. Varanta Jasana is a beautiful feminine twist where we gently look over the back shoulder like this. And then you might take the forearm to the floor again, palm facing up, find the shoulder on the floor, find the ribs and the back on the floor, palm is facing up again, and then into this pose. And then you can come to Bharata Jasna on the other side. So the trick really is to just keep those knees bent when you roll, and a real sense of the legs being really connected, even from the soles of the feet, connected into the body. So you're a lot like that happy baby that we often do in yoga, the happy baby pose. A happy baby has very light legs and feet because they're really connecting in in a juicy way into the pelvis. Nice big fat hips, juicy wide hips, keeping the lightness in the body and possibly coming into the twist. A little look, the gaze, and then the heart follows and the belly follows and you come back to centre. So whichever foot is behind, next to your um, hip, we have to twist the knee part of way. That's there. If you feel they just need a slight different width, please shift knees and feet. There's many options available here. Narrow or wide knee. The head will just itself turn to look over the front shoulder the other way. Keep the heart twisting back, keep the belly twisting back and not the head. So try again, come back to the original twist where everything's turning around the back. Leave your rib cage twisted that way. Just the softest turn from the very base of your skull, even the base of the neck actually, the softest little idea that it's going to sneak around without the heart knowing and without the belly knowing. Then you turn the other way. Gently, we come back with the head aligned with the heart and then the whole heart and belly and face come back to centre. Good. Swing your feet around, face the front and we'll come to cross legs. Beautiful. Lovely. Hands on the knees and we'll just circle through, which is lovely. Let's go the other way with that circle. Inhale as you go back, but exhale as you come forward and squeeze navel to spine. In breath, out breath. Squeeze navel to spine. Last one. Exhale and inhale coming back up to center. <laughs> Find your way. You've got pillows behind you. You can always feel free to tuck them in underneath the thighs. It's a lovely form of support, particularly when you're going to do restorative breath practices. You want to know the body is supported. I don't have to worry about it or think about it. 
Flex the hands to the knees and that finger touches the pad of the thumb. Relax the face, close the eyes. Feel a nice clear breath entering through the nostrils into the lungs. Down with pressure of that breath then moving down the belly or the pelvic bowl and the base of the spine. The exhalation rises all the way back out. Emptying the lungs, emptying out the nostrils. As the air enters the nostrils, you're kind of being conscious of the upper neck at that point. Back of the throat. The very top of the inhalation, you're aware right down to the tailbone. And then we exhale all the way back up the spine and out to the nose. Everything available to feel this life force, this nourishing breath. That moves through the body. We also invite you now to feel the full breadth of the body, the expanse of the heart, lungs, the full width of the ribs, of the back body, expanding out from the spine, broadening out. But please use any supports that you want. You can sit on something. In fact, I do like sitting on something firm, so let's do that. Make sure you're super comfortable, the right amount of warmth or coolness, not restricted in any way. I'm being an awesome example <laughs> of really taking care to prepare. So this is a really calming, rebalancing breath practice, very simple. We'll take one hand across to the opposite knee and one hand behind, just sort of by the tailbone. The hand is just a kind of thumb on the inside, fingers lightly wrap around, gently around the thumb, and that just rests there behind you. Not too particular, okay? The other hand's over the knee. I'm actually gonna inhale and forward fold. We come up, holding that inhalation into the body, lift the chin, the lips purse to create a tiny little circle. We blow the breath all the way up. We look forward, the arms will swing as they change. Other hand behind, cross, inhale, rise up, holding that breath in, lift the chin and exhale, blow. Take your time, you're sitting, sitting or drinking in the goodness. And all the way out across the universe. And be as timeless as possible. So this is not linear. We don't want to get to the end of the movement or the breath. We want to sit our awareness right in the middle of the experience. We'll do one more to each side. Fully absorbed in the practice. When you finish, you simply inhale to seated posture. The eyes closed, the body aware, awake, yet completely relaxed. And simply be. We witness things just as they are. Quiet and still in ourselves. Witnessing any movement. Movement of life across the sensations the body and the mind.
But there's a deep inner stillness, unaffected, unaffected, unchanged. Two more breaths. Lightly allow the hands to float up in prayer position in front of the heart. Let the lightness continue through the forearms to elbows to shoulders. So the elbows are light and floating, armpits open and buoyant. With a lovely strong inhalation. And exhale, bow the head. And then inhale, rising back up to look. Forward, open the eyes and release the hands. With the eyes open, can we sort of have this remaining presence, staying with the meditation, staying with the inner life? The eyes open and often we just come outside again and we're out there in the world. So we remain, we return back to something still, and something silent within us. Even with the eyes open, perhaps even when we relate to others and have others in our presence and be in the presence of others, can we come back to this quiet, settled place within? That can be your challenge and your homework for tomorrow and the week ahead. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you next week. I'll be here at 8 o'clock class next week. Um, thank you for being here.